Yeah, that song's pretty fun. Pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> Very kinky. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. Yeah, that phone I sounds interesting. That or that phone looks interesting. I want that. Cool. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, That's I'm super a dedicated excited fan. to welcome all my <laughs> pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget party right? like porn stars yes how do porn stars party do you want like a fat orgy with all his friends is that what is that what it is i mean that's what i assume what a what a party like a porn star means that everybody just gets in a big orgy no they party naked <laughs> no. lots and lots of coke <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Darth Mouse. Welcome to Shin Squad, bro. <laughs> I thought everybody thought it that way. <laughs> Sorlak. Oh yeah, that's not weird. Some random dude behind the girl with with a machete. Not a big deal. Consider it adventurous and diligent. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Hello? 
We're a little girl in my coat. Someone there? <laughs> Why would they have sex on their own? Why would they have orgy during their vacation? I don't know. <laughs> Tons, tons of orgasms. You know what I wish I had right now? I wish I had a glom tom. Let's be real. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. That's cool. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Okay, I guess we're we're climbing over. Safe. Jump. Yeah, boy. I'm a champion right here. I'm trying to play the whole stream, yeah. It's not weird at all. The weird dude in the um the weird dude in the uh in the mountains not not weird at all. Third you hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. Ooh, kept the controller completely still. What up, boys? It's because it's resting on my, on, my, on my legs right now. Melee is outdated. What's up, Travoski? How you doing, man? Yo, sorry, um... Darth Mouse, thank you to thank you for the follow. Troll Astinian, thank you for the follow, guys. Welcome to the stream, guys. I don't know if I did, I, did, I already said welcome to you guys. How are you guys doing? What did it say? R one? Oh, R one. Okay, honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. So she's not very the she's not the romantic type. Got it. She just likes to get down to business. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, the, wait, move, wait, they don't move, move parts, raise my damn blood pressure. What are you talking about? Oh, it's pronounced troll stain. Oh, troll. Oh, troll stain. Troll stain. Okay. Oh, troll stain. Troll stain. Going with troll stain. Can you, like, not stop, like, every few seconds? Can you just go? Jeez, lady. <laughs> cool. Trollston. Okay, it's Trollston. Okay. Right now, I'm building a base in Ark. Oh, really? And on Xbox One or what? Uh, let's see. Indigenous people are butterfly prophecies. Um, tribes who once lived in the mountains... Believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The butter or the color of the butterfly indicated the nature of its prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Uh, danger, which is red. Red butterflies warned um, of dangerous events. Uh, loss. Brown butterflies foretell the tragedy affecting affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offer visions to help and guide. Fortune, white butterflies, um, brought dreams of luck and fortune. Okay. So then I could have saved one of the two sisters, right? Because it was just one of the possible deaths. Is that, is that, am I, am I correct in that? <clears throat> so this is a yellow one. I f uh, this is guidance, right? Guidance. As you explore, you will recommend uh, pick up a totem and reveal colored. Okay, cool.
Okay, bird, got it. Um, the gaming bacon one. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? No, I'm gonna go to. Pa I'm gonna try to go to Pax Prime. That's my my idea. What is this? Okay, so it just pulls it up there. Or can I just like rewatch it? Is that what that is? Okay, and then this one was like, we're only one die. Oh no, it showed two dies. It showed two die, right? Yeah, it showed both dying. So that was one possible death. I don't know, man. Pax, Pax South is already sold out. Did you already get tickets? Okay, so she can't go in that way. The heck, there's someone here. You're not in the bag, are you? Hello, what do we have here? Aha! Look who it is. He knows Uh-oh. Chris. Had a crush on Ashley, protective, humorous, and methodical. Alright. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are, are you that scared the crap out of me, dude. I was buzzing. Oh, nice, nice, Ooh, nice. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Let me know when the PAX Prime um, tickets go for sale, man. Chris is my favorite character. Oh, Sam so seems like a likable character as well. Something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on. I freaking ju I jumped too, man. Where? <laughs> right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Knew it was coming. What's this? Oh man, look at this. Nice. Think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. Oh, that's cool. Okay. He comes up here. Ta da. Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Come on. Look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes. I don't know. Why they like it in the winter. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell? Is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski Sam is your second favorite uh, character? Yeah. I'm liking Sam right now. Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. So am I, sh am I shooting? Boom. I mean, I can understand going to a cabin in the... I would rather go to a cabin in the winter, to be honest. And the reason why is because... what? A, why else would I would go to a cabin? I'm going to be in the cabin. If I go in the summer, I'm not going to be in the cabin. That and I hate spiders. I would assume that there'd be more spiders in the, during the summer than there would be in the winter, you know? Well... Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Let's not shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Hey, sharpshooter, right? I changed the narrative hey, again? I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Every time the butterflies go out, right? That means I changed the narrative again? Butterfly effect update. What does that mean? Well, how do you, how do you, what do you mean status update? What is that? Status update. What does this mean? Um, butterfly effect. So this guy is not brave, but I guess the relationship went higher. Butterfly effect. Any of your business, what is this? 
Sam looked at Chris's incoming message. Chris was offended was offended by Sam's in um indiscretion. Okay. And what's this one? Uh Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Natural or nature remained in balance. Oh nice. Nice. Yeah, it's the smallest little choice that can greatly impact the future. So nature is in balance. We're good to go, boys. We're good to go. <laughs> I just chose. I was like, nah, I don't know, that's cool. All right, cool. So now I'm playing as Chris now, not as Sam. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it all came flooding back. Here goes fast. What does that say? Pat, uh, the past is beyond our control. That's weird. Awesome. That's a little weird. It must be really hard on Josh. Need food, man. Gotta shoot. Alright, bro. Nature balanced, boys. <laughs> Get I. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? <clears throat> what people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. It's called a grocery store. I'm pretty sure he wasn't going to use it to eat it. I'm pretty sure he was just going to shoot it and then leave it. Which is not... I mean, as you need it, man. As you need it. I'll see you later, Doc. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Hopefully, I'll see you later, man. Try to stop by later if you can. What up, girl? Let's do it, though. Ooh, right behind her. Like, what up, girl? Yeah. Big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing. Like it is. How do you feel about me standing right behind you, Sam? You gonna publish? How do you feel, girl? Pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Dang it! I shouldn't have moved them. I had like the perfect spot, dude. All right, before they get back over here, let's uh, let's see what's over here. How rich you are. I'm not so rich. Gummies. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, bro. See, I want to see what everything is here. I feel like some there might be something important here. You know what I'm saying? What? You can see everything from here? Huh? Bro. Maybe I'll see something that I shouldn't be seeing. What's up, Winded? Did I get that thing to move earlier? Or to move on its own? I think it moved on its own. Dang. I thought I was going to get scared. Like, there's going to be someone looking at the camera and be like, Oh, shit! What's up, Jetman? How's it going, bro? Look for condoms? <laughs> Yeah, well, I was gonna stay Great here. one by slamming it in. Okay. Don't get a prego though. <laughs> There's no sex scenes in this game. Teases, but not scenes. Ah, oh, something jumps out on the TV. Something important might happen. You feel me? Yo, I feel like something's gonna happen if I keep watching the video. Let's go back to the video. Can I go back to the video? Oh, there's nothing else on the video, man. All right, let's go. Let's go meet up with everybody. Dude, I hate scary games, so this makes it even worse. I hate scary games, dude. I'm such a puss when it comes to scary games, dude. Such a puss. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? 
I hate being you know, Yo, you and me both, Pink. Don't worry, we're good to go. I'm, really I'm the one who's involved. doing the controls. All right, Pink, you just watch. Yeah, no, he definitely. <laughs> I'm probably gonna break my I controller at one point. So excited about something. 